Hey guys, it's Andre Erickson here. And I'm James Erickson, and welcome back to... Back when the Nintendo 64 was all the hype, there was a game released that brought siblings and cousins and, and hobos together for a fun-filled board game-esque type experience. And that game was none other than Mario Party. My brother and I, uh, along with all our sisters, played this game a lot growing up. In fact, it was one of the main games we played alongside Super Smash yes. Brothers, and Mario Kart, and The Sims. As most of you know, Mario Party has had, I think, 10 installments over the course of however many years Nintendo well, has been putting these out. If you don't count and the Game Boy ones. If you don't count we'll the Game Boy ones, that's right. And uh, as they've been released, they've kind of, the, the content and the gaming experience has kind of got a little iffy and questionable. <laughs> With the last two being, at least in our opinion, probably two of the worst Mario Party games of the whole franchise. But I think we've seen and heard a lot from other people that may agree with us. So every Nintendo console since the Nintendo 64 has seen a couple of these Mario parties. And uh, we believe that the Switch may be no different. In fact, the Switch has been putting out really some really good titles and has some other good titles coming out in the future. Will the Switch finally have a Mario Party that may bring the Mario Party series back to where it used to be? So today, Andres and I are going to be discussing a couple things that we think may make Mario Party a little bit better. Or just, you know, playable? I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get to it. <laughs> One of the first things I think of when I want to make a Mario Party game better is just <laughs> deleting the little vehicle that all yeah. four players hop into and all of a sudden they're all at the same place. I mean, you played yeah. those more than I did. I, I played it for a little bit, uh, number nine, and just said, this is trash and stopped <laughs> playing. A lot of the mini games were good in nine, but like I never played story mode. I think I played, or I never played the board game mode. Like I played story mode for like a minute and then I was like, wow, this sucks. So <laughs> then I stopped and I never went back to it. So any any time I would play number nine is like, I would ask my sisters if they wanted to play just some mind numbing games and we just play the mini games because that was it. There was like a few that we liked to play. And then I've never played 10, but I've seen a lot of stuff with it and it looks like exactly the same thing. You're just riding around on a car and it's very linear here. <laughs> Nobody really does anything. On social media, I've seen a lot of complaints against the vehicle yeah. for num when number nine came out. And then they put out number 10 and people were like, Nintendo, do you do you guys have ears? Like, are you listening? We don't, we didn't like the car. So you put it in t yeah. number 10. That makes sense. There's a lot of people, obviously we've learned this from videos we've made in the past, but there's a lot of people who disagree with us and they like it just because they right. never, I mean, some people just like it because they like They've it. They've never a lot tasted of people, a good game before. Just kidding. <laughs> that was just a joke. <laughs> A lot of people have never experienced the older ones when they came out, so this is all they have. And they're like, oh yeah, Mario Party, it's fine. But like, I mean, to make both those groups happy, I think maybe they could include both modes and have like a classic regular mode and then have the car mode where everybody's in a car sitting down <laughs> doing nothing. Hold I'm on a sure. second, Marina's calling my name. What? Another thing they seem to have slowly stripped away from the Mario Party series was more like strategic gameplay. So I think one thing they should definitely add back is that strategy and actual skill based structure to the game. Because I mean, a lot of the mini games are still like you have to actually try to win in the newer ones too. But in the board game, there's like everything is chance based. There's yeah. so many chance based things and everything's so balanced. Tries to make everybody feel good, like, oh, you only got taken away stars, but it's not really your fault. It's just because that's how the game works. And then like, oh, you balance them out. Oh, everybody gets them taken away. It's like, why does it have to be like that? Why can't I earned this star? Let me have it. He doesn't have as many coins as me, so he shouldn't have it. Like you don't have right. to make everybody happy. And I mean, the game is, it's so much more in depth when you actually have goals to strive for that you have to actually work toward instead of just everything either thrust upon you or taken away. I think that's what makes Mario Party fun. Uh, the right. old Mario Parties uh, were a lot of fun because you had to try at the games. Chance-based games, games that are based off luck, they're only good for so long. Like, yeah. maybe many would agree. They're just, they're they are boring. Like, they're also frustrating. Like, oh, you know, I'll roll the dice. Oh, I get 10 coins and my buddy gets 100 coins. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. I mean, I'm sure that's fine for kids like four-year-olds and I you could make the argument that it's more for kids and that's understandable but I mean you but there's a, there's tons of people our age and older that have been around with Nintendo for a while yeah 
and they want to see their great games come back, and they've already been doing it. You know, Mario yeah. Kart is getting a little better, in my opinion, I guess. And uh, real quick, the problem also, the reason the Amiibo Festival for uh, Animal Crossing di didn't do well was because almost 100% of it was chance-based. Nintendo, stop trying to make everyone feel good. And Gosh, uh, again, that's boring. <laughs> highlight the skill, I guess. Guy, yes. come on. Another thing that I think would make Mario Party more tolerable is that as more installments of the series were released, I felt like there were just more and more special spaces on the board game Ugh, yeah. that just took up so much time. It was like there's a DK space, and then there's a space that someone put down from an orb, and then there was no. another, then there was a <laughs> shop, and then there was this thing you had to go over to do this, and it would yeah. shoot you over here to give you coins, <clears throat> and then you had to go collect an item, and then you had to climb this. <laughs> Especially like number seven was really bad like that. Like I think they toned it down in number nine and ten, but like seven was like every space was something. It's like can we just get the mini game? Like goodness gracious! I know the mini games were the best part, and yeah. so to wait that long for them, and then to get a mini game you don't like, <laughs> right? And actually, that's where another one comes in. I think it would be beneficial to bring back the mini game after every four rounds. And I don't know if they did that in number 10, but I know in number 9 they changed it. Where it would just be, you'd have to, I think you would have to land on space to play a mini game. So you could go like oh, six really? people and then play a mini game. Yeah, because like the mini games are the best part. We don't want to be sitting on a board <laughs> getting little stars thrown at us and then taken away for five hours. You want to play the mini games. Back when Mario Party 2 came out, and I think the same was Mario for Mario Party 3, there may be mixed opinions about this, but this is something that I love. And when we played Mario Party 2, there were a lot of games that they took from Mario Party 1 and put in Mario Party 2, and they changed them up a little bit. I personally loved that, because I felt like I was getting the same good Mario Party experience from the first one, just upgraded with tons of other added up mini games. Yeah. Like the Jump Rope one, and then the Hexagon Heat, and then things like that, I feel like, are iconic to Mario Party. So yeah. I think it would honestly, and, and this may just be my opinion, but it would be cool if they would bring a lot of the good past mini games and just brought them to newer Mario Parties with tons of other added mini, yeah. ga mini games. I mean, I think it's kind of like bringing stages back to Mario Kart and stages back in Super Smash Bros. So you can like replay yeah. them with like the new technology or whatever. I think in the new, I mean, in the newer Mario Parties, they still have carry over like the same ideas from the past, but kind of spin them in different ways. Mm -hmm. But yeah, instead of like putting filler mini games, they're like, oh, we ran out of ideas. Let's just make this chance based one where you have to press A and maybe get a coin or maybe I know. don't. Just like put an old one in there. We're not going to get mad. If it's a fun mini game, it's a fun mini game. Right. <laughs> God! The last thing that I had written down, there's probably more things that I could bring up, but uh, yeah, this might be a smaller one, but something I thought that that Mario Party series should stop doing is adding gimmicks in. Uh, the mic and like oh, the yeah. car thing, we'd already, we had already said that. I An felt like Amiibo the car was a gimmick. That, that was Animal mode. Crossing, but then there was something with, with the Amiibos. No, with, that's uh, what the it, Mario oh, Amiibo. Amiibos, right? Yeah. Whatever it was called. The one where you put in the Amiibos, it looked like three times as boring <laughs> than the regular board. <laughs> yeah. Like, what was that? My gosh. Don't, don't <laughs> make us use a mic. Don't make us use Amiibos. Don't. Yeah. Don't require us to buy something separate, and if we don't buy it, we're missing out on, on a, a parts of the game. Just, right. just give us Mario Party. Just give us the same just experience we had with added things, okay? Seriously. I love, I love Mario Party back. Back in the day, we, like I said earlier in the video, we would play Super Smash Brothers, uh, Mario Kart, and Mario Party was like up there with the big dogs. And now it's like, Oh, Mario Party. Remember back in the day <laughs> I know. when it was good? <laughs> it's kind of like the Sonic series, but not yeah. as bad. <laughs> I remember ah. back when I used to love Sonic, and now we're just hoping that Sonic Forces will be good. I know. Just so you don't think we're all like those old people that can be like, I hate change and blah, 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 just because I'm not used to it. It's not that. I think, like, I don't, I don't mind change. I just feel like the changes have to be necessary. They have to be moving towards something or building on something or not detracting from the fun of the game or the yeah. experience. And I do think things like, I think the boss battles in 9 and 10... I don't think those were a terrible idea because I've played some of those boss games and those are fun when you're going with your friends. It's like a giant mini game. Nintendo, you just gotta listen to your fans for once. 
I know that's being a little harsh. I know they listen sometimes. <laughs> we just want a good Mario Party. <laughs> Please. Oh my Please. gosh, the Switch. The Switch would be great for that. Yes. Mario Party board game on the go. Let's, let's go. But you need to buy all the amiibos to unlock every character. To even play one character, you have to buy all the amiibos and all the microphones, and you have yeah, to yeah, buy yeah. a car yourself. I know you're 12 years old, but you have to go buy a car. An actual car. Right. So that's that. Moving on to reading the comments. So whenever we don't know what we're doing the next time on the Ericsson Exchange, we have to think of a random question on the spot to ask you guys that is completely irrelevant. And this week's question was, if Callie and Marie never met, how many Orpals did it take Mario to fit in the toilet when he bought three burgers after having a three hour nap inside Yoshi's shell when Yoshi had to fall off three cliffs just to tell Bowser that he wasn't supposed to be there and that he was in another castle? And then Judd walked in and exploded. Why did Judd explode? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a very thoughtful question. KJ Catman said, Judd exploded because he wanted to eat Toad, who wanted to eat Kirby, who wanted to eat Judd. Wow, that's a good one. That's that's a he solid did, reason why he? Judd would explode. Richard Orozco says, the answer is seven. No need to check his math because he knows he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, he figured it out. Joseph Gallagher said Judd exploded because Nintendo does whatever the hell they want. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Mr. C says Judd exploded because he's an independent woman and he don't need no man. <laughs> That's probably That's another true. reason. That's a good reason, Mr. Nico Power CPU says Judd exploded because he was in a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's literally, that's probably the best, ex the most reasonable explanation for why he exploded. <laughs> and there was Judd. <laughs> <laughs> Resnuck Gaming says, Judd exploded because Mario and Judd share stomachs and Mario are too, oh, Mario ate too many burgers. And then since Mario is an oaf, he could take the burgers, but Judd couldn't handle the capacity of the burgers, then died. That's wow. sad. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing for next time. Much Draw a picture of Mario and Judd sharing stomachs and send it to ericksongamingthings <laughs> at gmail.com and we will show them the most weird ones on next time. <laughs> there you go. You can send it on Discord if you want. <laughs> yeah, or send it on Discord. Thank you for all those silly comments. Make sure you send us those pictures of Judd and Mario. It'll be just a great old time. Anyways, uh, from here we're going into Play of the Week. If you'd like to see your play of the week on our uh, on the Ericsson Exchange, you can send your plays from whatever game, preferably one we each show on our channel, but it can be any game as long as it's interesting at all. You can send them to ericksongamingthings at gmail.com or you can put them in our Discord server, which we'll leave a link to in the description, and you can put it in the play of the week channel. If you don't know what the heck you're doing when you get there, just type something in and somebody will answer you. Uh, all you people watching this, thank you. Thank you for watching our smelly faces as we talk to you about things that really don't matter in this life. If you want to see more of us talking or just not seeing our faces, but videos and just hear our voices, you can follow us here on Ericsson Gaming. So subscribe to Ericsson Gaming Place. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We have a Facebook account. Uh, if you really want to, you can join our Discord. We like to play Splatoon 2 together. Um, if you didn't know already, we're on YouTube, but I think I said that. <laughs> That's all we really have to say. So go hug a hobo. Go don't do throw that. your That's trash dangerous. away. Don't, <laughs> don't hug a hobo. That is dangerous. <laughs> uh, we're not going to say that here. Um, hobos are, can be nice, though. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you recycle. Uh, don't do drugs. Stay in school. And have a nice day. Bye. Bye.